This is an uncomfortable truth about Mexico, and if it bothers you, it's not my problem. Go take a nap. So this is a map of the United States before the Mexican-American War in 1846. Bro, all of this is Mexico, and that's the United States. Mexico owned California, Nevada, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas. But then here comes President Polk, who believed in Manifest Destiny. And Manifest Destiny is basically when colonizers believe that they had the right to control and conquer whatever they wanted in North America because they're special, I don't know. Colonizers wanted easier access to the Pacific Ocean because that would make trading with China easier, but Mexico inconveniently stood in the way. So of course, the US invaded and killed a bunch of people. Then after two years, the Mexican-American War ended with the Treaty of Guadalupe, which was a peace treaty. This peace treaty gave 55% of Mexico to the United States. So I guess my question is, are Mexicans illegally crossing the border or did the border illegally cross Mexico? Because from where I'm sitting, it really looks like it wasn't Mexicans that brought violent criminals into the US, uh, the US has brought violent criminals into Mexico. Thank you, that's all.